Hi, I'm Martin, and welcome to Short Stories, brought to you by the National Taichung University of Science and Technology Language Center. Today's short story is called The Tinderbox. It was written by Hans Christian Andersen in 1835. It was probably inspired by earlier folk tales such as Aladdin and the Wonderful Lamp. Critics did not like this story at first, but today it is one of Denmark's most beloved folk tales. Before I read the story, I will read the vocabulary and example sentences. After the story is complete, I will read four listening comprehension questions. Okay, let's begin. Vocabulary Feckless. Feckless. Because of the feckless boss, the company suffered repeated losses. POW. POW. Prisoner of war. John was a POW in Vietnam for six years. Swipe. Swipe. While he wasn't looking, the thief swiped his bag. Monstrous. Monstrous. A monstrous animal attacked the campers. Lavish. Lavish. The billionaire lived in a lavish house. Hit it off. Hit it off. You and I hit it off, and now we are best friends. Upstart. Upstart. The king did not like the upstart peasant. Fetch. Fetch. I asked my son to fetch me a glass of water. The Story The early 19th century was not a lucky period for Denmark. Led by a feckless king, Frederick VI, the country sided with Napoleon, and when Napoleon lost the war, Denmark lost too. It lost its navy, its economy, and its pride. Into this depressed environment, a humble Danish soldier returned. His name was Henrik, and he had also lost a lot in the Napoleonic Wars. He was drafted into the Danish army and sent to fight in the Battle of Stralsund, which the Danish lost. He had been a POW for the last five years and was only now returning. He had no money, no friends, and no place to go. He was tired and skinny from hunger. On the road to Copenhagen, he ran into a fat old witch standing next to a large gnarled tree. The witch offered him a job. If you climb into that hole in this tree and bring me the tinderbox inside, I'll let you have as many coins as you can carry. Henrik agreed and began climbing. When he squeezed himself into the tree, he was surprised to find three large chambers. In the first chamber was a pile of silver coins, which was guarded by a strange-looking dog that was the size of a teacup. In the second chamber was a pile of gold coins, which was guarded by a dog the size of a water wheel. In the last chamber, he saw the tinderbox, but it was guarded by a dog the size of a tower. Fortunately, all three dogs were sleeping, so Henrik slipped into the first chamber to fill his pocket, pants pockets with silver coins. He then slipped into the second chamber and filled his shirt pockets with gold coins. Finally, he swiped the tinderbox from the third chamber. When Henrik got out of the tree, 
the witch immediately demanded the tinderbox. At first, Henrik mumbled a lie. Uh, I didn't find it. The witch became angry and threatened to turn him into a hedgehog. So Henrik pulled out his sword and cut off her head. Next, Henrik went to Copenhagen with his pockets full of money. Unfortunately, soldiers are usually bad with money, and Henrik was no exception. He soon spent all of his money on parties and food. He was down to his last cigarette when he noticed that he was out of matches. He opened the tinderbox to light his cigarette, and out jumped the three monstrous dogs. Henrik was frightened out of his wits, but the dogs did not attack. Instead, they sat there smiling and wagging their tails. Go away, Henrik shouted. The three dogs obeyed and jumped back into the tinderbox. It was then that Henrik realized that he could command the three dogs. Henrik used the magic tinderbox to command the smallest dog to collect coins for him from the tree. Henrik had money again. He lived a lavish lifestyle that attracted the attention of the local nobility. It wasn't long before he was invited to royal parties at the palace. It was at one of these parties that he met the king's daughter. They hit it off right away. They even talked about getting married. The king did not like this one bit. No upstart soldier was going to marry his daughter. Only the most noble of gentlemen was good enough for her. So the king kept his daughter locked in a wing of the palace. The princess and Henrik were desperate to see each other again. So Henrik called on the second dog to fetch the princess for him. The magic dog zipped into the palace and brought the princess to his apartment. The next morning, the princess decided to return to the palace until they could come up with a plan. The king, who was keeping an eye on his daughter, noticed that she had missed breakfast. He was suspicious. That night, the king ordered his constable to keep watch over his daughter's bedroom. When the dog arrived to pick up the princess, the constable secretly followed. He arrested Henrik on the spot and threw him into the palace dungeon. The next day, Henrik awoke in a damp cell. The constable told him that the king ordered his immediate execution without a trial. You'll be dead by noon, he laughed. Henrik tried to think of a plan to escape, but without his tinderbox, he could do nothing. At 11.30, the guard escorted Henrik to the gallows. The executioner tied a rope around his neck and asked, Do you have any last requests? Henrik replied, Yes, I keep a pack of fancy cigarettes in my tinderbox. Could you bring it to me? I think you have it in the evidence locker. The executioner complied and handed the tinderbox to Henrik. As soon as he opened it, the largest of the three dogs popped out. He ordered it to destroy the gallows, the royal guard, and even the palace. The guards ran screaming in all directions. The, the king watched in horror as his lavish house was ruined. Finally, Henrik and the princess jumped onto the dog's back and rode away into the sunset, never to set foot in Denmark again. The questions. Number one, who did Henrik meet on the road to Copenhagen? A, a witch. B, an elf. C, the devil. D, the princess. The answer is A, a witch. Question two, what is so special about the tinderbox? A. It allows the owner to command magical creatures. B. It can light your cigarette. C. It can light up a dark room. D. 
It is filled with gold. The answer is A. It allows the owner to command magical creatures. Question three. Why didn't the king want Henrik to marry his daughter? A. Henrik was not a member of the nobility. B. Henrik was too dirty. C. Henrik liked dogs, but the king liked cats. D. Henrik was too poor. The answer is A. Henrik was not a member of the nobility. Question 4. What was Henrik's last request? A. To kiss the princess. B. To kill the witch. C. To have the tinderbox. D. To eat a lavish meal. The answer is C. To have the tinderbox. Well, today's short story is now complete. Uh, I have given this story a very specific historical background, one that Anderson himself would be familiar with. Hans Christian Andersen was born in 1805, which means some of the events and people mentioned in today's short story were alive at the same time. And in fact, Frederick VI, the King of Denmark, may have actually paid for part of Andersen's education. That's pretty neat. So I guess he wasn't such a bad king after all. Well, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.